Rene Magritte was born in Lessonis, Belgium, in the province of Hainut. He comes from a somewhat mysterious background. Magritte went through some difficult things in his early stages of his life that definitely influenced his art. On March 12, 1912, his mother committed suicide by drowning herself in a river. Some sources say Rene Magritte was there when her body was actually pulled out of the water. The name of this painting is La Dere Poiglade, which translates to Times Transfixed. In this, I see many different quadrilaterals, as you can see above the train and to the side. In addition, I see the train as almost a cylinder shape. In this painting, he uses shapes in different sizes to make them appear. I see many individual quadrilaterals as well as circles and squares. The name of this painting is The Empire of Lights. This painting describes Magritte's artwork very clearly. He is known for mixing two things that don't go together. This is called surrealism. In this painting I see dark setting of trees in a lake. Then when you look up you have a bright blue sky. I feel like this is showing reflective symmetry because you can see the bright sky reflecting on the dark lake. This painting is called The Son of the Man. This is one of Magritte's most famous paintings. In this you can see an apple covering a man's face. He uses perspective to make the scene look 3D and pop out at you. The rocks behind them show a lot of four-sided figures as well. This painting is called The Explication. It uses vanishing point to make the landscape look far off in the background. In my mind, the bottle represents a cylinder and the carrots are cone-shaped. Once again, he uses shadowing to make the objects look 3D. This painting is called Memory of a Voyage. It looks like the apple and pear are made out of stone. I feel like the apple and pear are cutting the ocean almost into two different quadrilaterals or trapezoids. This painting is called The False Mirror. This is one of Magritte's most famous paintings. This piece really challenges the mind and is using color concept to the fullest extent. It shows both horizontal and vertical symmetry. You also have lighter color symmetry bet between the two sides of the eyes. You see a circle where his eye is, and it's almost like you get a giant frame through his eyes. Just a this piece is titled The Lovers. A lot like his other work, it uses vanishing point to make the background look far off. This piece is titled Homesickness. It's showing surrealism again because a man does not have wings. I find it interesting how the man is looking in one direction and the line is looking in another. I see cylinders in the rails, and also if you look back at the light, the wires coming down connect and form a triangle. I can not find the specific name of this artwork, but it is another Rene Magritte piece. The windows are showing rectangles, and this is a kind of weird concept, but if you look at the men, the darker shades of men in the front that are hanging, if you were to connect them, it would form a triangle.